Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. The Sarah Club thanks the following advertisers and sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club also thanks all those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is the Most Reverend George Lucas, Archbishop of Omaha. He is assisted by our lectors, Sarens Herman Wiest and Tim O'Neill. The music today is being provided by Russell Winklebauer of St. Robert Church, accompanied by Thomas Stoisage, also of St. Robert Church. And I'm your commentator, Kevin Cooper. Well, the season of Advent has come to an end, as today we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The love of God and the power of the Holy Spirit fills our hearts anew. Let us express gratitude for the greatest gift that God could possibly give to us, His beloved Son, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith which illumines our minds may also shine through in our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth. Say to daughter Zion, your Savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called frequented, the city that is not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm this morning is, A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. A light, light will, will shine, shine on us this day. day. The, the Lord, Lord is born, born for us. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all people see His glory. A light, light will, will shine, shine on in us this, this day. day. The, Lord the Lord is born, born for us. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. 
Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. A light, a light will shine, shine on us this day. day. The Lord is born for us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, when the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us <clears throat> through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you lord when the angels went away from them to heaven the shepherds said to one another let us go then to bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place which the lord has made known to us so they went in haste and found mary and joseph and the infant lying in the manger when they saw this they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what, they, by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I wish a merry and blessed Christmas to all of you. Uh, we've celebrated the, uh, the weeks of Advent uh, together uh, in anticipation. Uh, uh, the hope growing that uh, the Lord is near, that he will reveal himself to us in a very personal and powerful way. Today we celebrate the beautiful feast of, of, of Christmas. Uh, the evangelists give us some uh, very detailed images of what happened uh, so many years ago in, in Bethlehem at the birth of the Savior. And these few verses from St. Luke's Gospel that I just proclaimed show us the, the shepherds coming uh, to visit uh, the place where Jesus had been born. And they found Mary and Joseph. They found the child lying in a, in a manger. Uh, their curiosity had been stirred by uh, a remarkable appearance of angels and uh, the, the message coming to them that uh, a very special child had been born and, and they were really directed to, to where they could find the, this blessed event. So off they went and, and we just wonder what they saw and what they thought uh, when they came to the place where Jesus had been born because what they found was a baby and a baby that probably looked like pretty many other babies, uh, newly born. This was a poor child uh, with poor parents and it must have left the shepherds scratching their heads, perhaps. Uh, they, I think, believed what had been told them about the child, but still could, uh, uh, could have had a hard time imagining that what seemed so ordinary could be something really, really special. Uh, as they gaze up upon the, uh, the child Jesus, we join them today as we celebrate this feast, and we try to allow our imaginations to be stirred and to think about what is it that we see? What is it that we celebrate? Uh, what we see immediately is uh, something very ordinary, but it's very beautiful and it's right at the center of our faith that God loves us sinners so much. He loves us in our humanity so much that he has come to join the human family. Uh, the Son of God ha has, has become man, uh, but he's done it in a very ordinary way. 
as, as uh, we hear and as, as we celebrate on, on the, this feast of, uh, of Christmas. But this is right at the center of our faith, that God has become man and that God is, is with us in the person of Jesus Christ. But there's a second part of this mystery which, which really makes this feast so glorious. And that is, uh, not only has God loved us enough to come to be with us, he hasn't come just as a visitor, he's come as our redeemer. And through his power as the Son of God, we know that, that Jesus will eventually give his life for us on the cross and be raised from the dead so that now we can go to be with God. Uh, so the Lord comes to be with us, to take us really to, to, to be with him. And that's what gives uh, such great joy and, and such real hope uh, to our celebration of, uh, of Christmas. So the, the Lord comes to be with us right where we are and he comes to redeem us and he wants to redeem that part of us uh, that perhaps is broken or tainted by, by sin. Perhaps our prayer today is, as we welcome the Lord can be that the, the Holy Spirit might show us what part of, of us that, that the Lord desires to transform. He loves us as we are, but he desires so much more for us than, than we have experienced so far. He desires eternal life for us. And we wanna let the Lord in to that part of us that's hurting, the part of us that's broken, part that needs, needs forgiveness. And we're confident uh, that just as he came in poverty and in humility in Bethlehem, he comes in humility to meet us where we are. But not just to be with us, he comes to, to save us so that we can live forever with him. I believe in one God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen. Filled with Christmas hope, we open our hearts and raise our voices in prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, George Lucas our Archbishop, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, suffering, or homeless, and for the poor and unemployed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, who pondered the mystery of Jesus' birth, families will pray for and treasure vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life among their children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, born as our Savior, may save those yet unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the needs of this community, our viewers, our sponsors, and for you especially. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Son to be our Savior. May we welcome him with joy and follow him with faith, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your support of the Mass for Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity has helped the Sierra Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders, caregivers, and for the health and safety of all priests. 
The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks you again as we continue on our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life with the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Unipero Sarah. The Liturgy of the Eucharist now begins. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our offerings be worthy, we pray, O Lord, of the mysteries of the Nativity this day, that just as Christ was born a man and also shone forth as God, so these earthly gifts may confer on us what is divine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, as we honor with joyful devotion the nativity of your Son, that we may come to know with fullness of faith the hidden depths of this mystery <clears throat> and to love them ever more and more. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. O God, who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather that he be converted and live, grant, we beseech you, through the intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Unipero, Sarah, and all the saints, an increase of labors for your church, fellow labors with Christ, to spend and consume the cells for souls, through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. If you would like a prayer card, contact us through WWT. And please join us for the Mass for shut-ins next Sunday morning at 1030 on Channel 6 WWT. Merry Christmas. been watching the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. We hope you will join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shut-Ins.